Now I am going to talk about the Nath Panthis, the Siddhas and the Yogis. They were very different kind of saints who did not believe in the lines in which the other saints believed. They were different people and had a different aura about themselves. The Nath Panthis, Siddhas and the Yogis first of all supported renunciation that is they did not believe that any human being who lives in the family can achieve salvation can reach God they believed that one has to go to the forest to the caves towards the rivers towards the jungles in far off places to reach God and the Nathpanthi Siddhas and the Yogis had very different methods of pleasing God. They believed in yogasans, that is in various exercises and also in deep meditation to achieve God. Now these Nathpanthi Siddhas and the Yogis in fact became popular in North India amongst the lower castes. As I told you that these people had a very different thought process and they believed that the way to reach God cannot be so easy. Then we talk of Islam and Sufism. When I talk of Islam and Sufism, the Sufis were in fact those Muslim mystics who believed in love, devotion and also in true compassion. These were the people who believed that everybody must love, everybody must show devotion and also should be bothered about the feelings of others. Islam does not believe in idol worship and they propagate monotheism that is believing in one God. Islam had also given shariat that is certain set principles or code of behavior which were not so much liked by the Sufis who believed in just love, love and love and that is the way they said to reach God. Ghazali, Rumi and Saddi are the three famous Sufi saints of the time. They too had different methods of reaching God, somewhat like the Nathpanthi, Siddhas and the Yogis. They believed in Jikar, Sama or the Rakas, that is again controlling your breath by singing, forgetting about yourself and just forgetting that you exist. You sing and you dance wherever you are and in presence of anybody. Just remembering the Supreme Lord were the ways of reaching God by the Sufis. Now this movement which spread off the Sufis led to the development of silsilas that is of genealogy. That is one genealogy different from the another in a slight little way that is they practice little different methods of achieving the supreme lord that is the silsila. 